Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Mod Monday. We have six mods, some of them are revolutionary, trust me on it. gonna leave revolution for the end and we're gonna start with something different well not really it's Schumperak uh, made by Vicom and this is description a small family house inspired by real life series from Czechoslovakia this building is usually called Schumperak yes Schumperak uh, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, because the first instance of this house has been built in the city of Schumperk which is also a city of Josef Josef Vanek, 1932-1999, a man who came up with this house. The construction began in 1970s and more than 20,000 instances uh, have been built. Serves as a re residential building for five inhabitants, offers of, uh, and offers 100% quality of living. Quite affordable. According to the real life, uh, perfect for suburbs and villages. Update, remove unnecessary double face. Anyway, it's being updated, of course, as we speak as well. And these are the small houses. This is something I love. I really, really love. Um, you have a real life pictures of this house in the uh, link in the description to link to the Steam mod. And uh, yes, it looks fabulous. There's even some <laughs> some uh, uh, talk about the garage being usable but no that's not gonna be possible but um, uh, the building looks fabulous uh, it holds let me show you where it, where it actually is so we're gonna build a little bit of pads just to have it look a little bit nicer and here we go this is how it's supposed to look like and they don't have a car access unfortunately and they cannot hold cars so uh, right uh, where can we find like it can be found in mods and the residential building and unfortunately it's not the last one for me it's uh, one of the last ones because i have a lot of mods installed recently and here we go Schumperak over here it would be 4366 uh, rubles here on the map where we are we're using our canvu uh, republic map so uh, we have some population and stuff happening on the map but uh, this is not important in this case right that's gonna be our first mod and uh, right not sure if it's gonna be my favorite, we'll see. Right, next one. Prefabricated uh, block of flats, nine story high. Uh, this is made by my man Rob074. Prefabricated block of flats, housing 120 workers, based on a real building in. It's in Polish, so don't kill me now. It's Częstochowa. Uh, Częstochowa, Poland. Quality 95%. Right, that's all about this one, and we have it here in the mod section in the residential buildings, and if we scroll all the way, unfortunately, it's not the last ones, but they're here for around 65,000 rubles to place it here, or if you want to see how long it takes to build, it's around 735 work days. 120 workers. I love this one. It has really really nice uh, features. It has nice textures and it's not classic block design. It has some well, not really curves but it has a different design than actual square building. Like, let's say this one across the street. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy about this. I, I really like this one. Okay let's move on. Right next one. Uh, Civil Buildings Pack by Benser. There's a description in Russian, we're gonna skip that part. And uh, in English, pack of civil objects for villages and small towns in style of the second half of the 50s. Consists of one bus stop with mosaics, four monuments, road allow, uh, road allow pass monument, cattle, ears of wheat, and my plant is my pride. Uh, the third one would be house of culture, works like cinema, fourth one village council, fifth one store, all products are sold, sixth one is kindergarten, seventh one is fire station for two cars, and number eight, a small rural medical office with one car. In the future I plan to add school, cow shed, a bar, and maybe something else. And there's a link and a detailed description in Russian. Now let's see one by one. Uh, the main feature of this mod is its monuments and political message. So as you can see, I have a problem finding a fourth uh, monument 
maybe it's just me, but anyway, these are the three ones I found. So let's go one by one. We have a bus stop with mosaics. Uh, here we go. This is a bus stop and it has mosaics on this side, benches on the other side. Um, this is like a weather shelter and uh, looks really nice. I think I, I think I really, really like this one. The whole mod, because it's made in the whole soviet propaganda uh, style so anyway this is uh, number one would be bust up with mosaics number two would be these monuments over here that you can see the fourth one eludes me but just let me uh, uh, let me check one more time i'm gonna assume that these are three ones that we have we have a cattle we have ears of wheat and we have my pride and the um, roadside allow pass monument this is the one i'm missing uh, unfortunately, I'm not really sure which one should it be here because these don't look like they belong in the same um, in the same mod pack. So I'm gonna just present these three that I'm pretty sure that they're part of this mod pack. Now we have a house of culture. Which one is it? Uh, house of culture would be here. We go. Uh, this is in town Plasivo. House of culture. Uh, five people can work at the same time, which is more than enough. Then we have a village council. Village council would be if I go. That would be. <laughs> well, let's try to find it. House of culture and medical office, and this would be it. Yes, this is accountants. Uh, this is the Selsovet. Selsovet would be the name of the building. Ten people can work here. And this is actually the smallest town council I found. I We currently have as a mod. That means it only requires less than ten people to have all the stats about the region. Right, um, next one would be store. Store would be this one with two parking lots. You can see that they're selling everything, but the capacity is quite small. So you're going to have to be... Uh, vigilant in importing all the stuff if you wish to import. It has a connection for one warehouse and of course it has a road connection as well as the rest of the buildings here. And all of them have uh, road connections. Okay, let's continue on. That would be kindergarten. Kindergarten would be... Here we go. 15, uh, 15 people, workers, and I, as far as I remember that would be another... 15 people will be over 100 kids can be uh, can go to this uh, kindergarten and then we have a fire station for two cars this would be a medical office and fire station is right this one over here we can buy a couple of nice trucks in here and the last one would be a small rural medical office uh, of course number of workers how many work in the fire station depends on the vehicles that you're using and then we have a medical office for one car and five workers, three doctors. That's quite small, but I think for a smaller setting, up to a thousand people, I think it would be perfectly fine. I really, really like this mod. It's really, really detailed. All the buildings are quite, quite detailed and they have um, mosaics on them and they have political messages and uh, it's really, really good. They really look really clean, not too clean and shiny, but yet not dirty and they look like some of the buildings buildings might look. Anyway, I really, really love this mod. Now, who wanted to see some weird stuff? Here we go. I'm gonna show you this. I just need to connect this one here and I'm gonna need to connect our pipeline all the way from here. One, two, and then connect it here. Let me show you what this is. This is a this is a uh, oil platform. We have two of them. This is made by uh, Novu. Novu is going... He's on a... He's on a Warpath. I'm telling you, these mods that we're gonna see today, it could the episode could be called a Novo Mod Monday because next three one are from the same modder and they are really really good. But but there's a huge but. Some of them don't work properly and some of them are kind of controversial. So this is a oil platform. There's two of them. I'm gonna read the description. Offshore oil rig. Uh, now you can drill for oil underwater. Comes in two versions. First version is found under mining and it works the same as as the land oil rigs but it will look weird if placed in a deep water or entirely on land the second version is found under a factory and it doesn't require a nearby oil resource fixed a lot of bugs should work a lot better now okay it probably does i only tested it now this is monday when i'm recording only a few hours before this video is published hopefully this is one of them so this is 
Uh, this comes under factories. If you go under your mods and then you have a factory, if you scroll, if you go, I think, all the way in the back or close to back, you will have oil offshore platform. You can see here that we can plonk it in. Or we can probably squeeze another one in here, but uh, this is how it looks. You have to have a huge body of water in order to place this mod. Uh, uh, if you don't have a huge body of water, it will not work. You can't place it over land. You cannot place this. It's technically made for for uh, offshore well, not the river bank but proper seashore um, I tried to plonk it in around like most of the places here but it's really really hard to do it uh, I found this nice place this this river mouth and uh, I think this is the only place <laughs> that I feel comfortable placing it and uh, here it is so how it works it doesn't require oil but it requires workers. Other oil rigs, remember that, that they don't require workers to work. This one does. It has a huge, uh, compared to other oil rigs, it has a huge capacity, huge amount of oil can be mined per day. This is 70 ton a day uh, uh, rig. So how it works? Uh, let's import some people here and let me show you. So we have around 60 workers at the moment working here and let's check check it out now this is connected to our fuel storage over here so it's gonna take a while uh, for us here we go production is going up only one person working at the moment but the rest of them are coming in so this is the production you're not gonna see a lot of here in the export tank but we don't have a pumping station so this is gonna be filling faster than than this one but you can see here that this one is filling up pretty pretty nicely Actually, now that I think about it, I think that this factory works, this oil platform works as a pumping station as well, because this oil is going pretty fast. So 70 tons a day without oil required, without oil platform, well, oil source required. Now the second one is a weird one because I can't make it work. The second one I built on the actual oil field, here it is in the river, and it's working, it's working and uh, it's pumping oil, it, no problems whatsoever. It doesn't have any workers, pumps oil like a normal rig and you can build it on, on, uh, on, on, the, on the oil. You, it can be found under normal mine. And here it is, and you can see here that we are actually draining this resource. We can build additional one. Uh, the only thing they require is electricity, which is fine, perfectly fine. The only problem is, I can't move this soil anywhere. I tried using ships. It could be that this map doesn't uh, really support ships. We have harbor here. I tried having a ship over and picking up this soil, but I could. I have no idea how it works. So we have a pipeline here. I cannot connect pipeline. Usually over land one would have a pipe connection to it. This one doesn't. So I'm not really sure how this is supposed to work. Uh, this is the second rig I'm building here. You can see that it started pumping straight away, even a little bit better capacity. But unfortunately, I, they don't have any connection to it. Uh, and I tried ship, it doesn't go, but it's probably because of this map doesn't support it. So I'm gonna leave it here and assume that it works over the big lakes or... or uh, uh, elsewhere. Novu is a proven modder, he has amazing track record and amazing mods and even if this by any chance doesn't work, I'm betting it's gonna work quite quite soon. This is amazing, I love this. Okay, here's another one by Novu. Uh, four houses, there are five of them here, and a shop. What's the difference between this one? Because you have to be a mountain goat to get to these houses. Now, this is mods. These are houses or mods that you can build anywhere. You can literally build them anywhere, on the water if you want. Um, but, of course, I don't think you can connect them with anything underwater, so not a lot of people are gonna be living there. Right, so uh, let's go here under mods, under residential buildings, and if you go all the way, unfortunately, like I said previously, um, I can't really um, distinguish them uh, uh, per se, but uh, you can see on the pictures, here we go, mountain, mountain, and then you have four of these buildings, they are all mountainous. You can build them anywhere, like literally, you can build them anywhere. Uh, I don't really know how it works in the background. I think these mods are just don't have a bottom and they just continue all the way down to the well bottom of the map or 
how it's designed. And uh, yes, you can place them literally anywhere. But the, the bigger problem we're gonna have is how to connect all of this. Now in this in this area here we have several we have several houses and some of them are even connected. So I'll fill in one house and see if the people are gonna go to work or anything like that. Here we go. Uh, right, like I said, difficult part is connecting all those buildings. Some of them are connected to each other, but some of them I couldn't connect to the rest of the, well, let's call it world. Uh, right, let's see if it works. There's food. There's people coming in here. Let's see if anybody's gonna eat. Anyway, this is a road connected to it, so we can just build it because it's a little bit snowy outside. We can rebuild it like this. It should be brand spanking new road. With the snow, of course. Maybe this one's gonna be better. No, it won't. Right, and it has industrial connection, which I connected to some modded storage, so more or less it works perfectly fine. Yes, uh, he said he's gonna build more of those, so you can expect many, many more. Probably schools, kindergartens, and everything else. Mod works perfectly fine, but like I said, you bear in mind that it's really hard to connect those buildings when you build it on the steep cliff or whatever you wish. Anyway, next one. Right, so what's the deal with this one? This is the last one. This is called Street Cards Beta. Again, made by Novu. Build street card rail lines on top of roads. Yes, but not only roads. You can build it on top of anything. This was Novu's mod uh, for... He wished to build an uh, underground... Uh, metro system, but unfortunately he had issues with that. He explains this in the comments of the mod. You have two types of mods here. You have double line and single line mods. Now, there's an issue with them. Uh, I tried building them through the buildings, the game continuously crashed, so I won't be doing that. Uh, and also, this... Uh, let, let's go first with what it is. You can find it in the platform or station. And the description, it's uh, built a streetcar rail lines on top of the roads, double track, and you have 50 meters, 100, 203, 4, 5, 6, and 700. And single track lines are exactly the same, except there's no 700 meter track line for a single line, only uh, double ones. So, here you go. You have single lines here, double lines here. How do they work? This is my understanding, and probably flawed, but they work like a station. So they are just one huge long station that can be built anywhere. Now, the problem with this is uh, you have to align them yourself. So, for example, you can build it in any direction you want. So, for example, if I go to platform station, uh, and here we go. Let's go for the smallest one so we can see where the beginning, where the end is. So, you can build them wherever you want. Here we go. We have a line here. Technically, this is a line, but also it acts like a bus stop. Now, it's it, it looks ideal, especially if you build it in the small sections. Uh, that means that every section is acting like a station, which is perfect. But it has to have ends ending not on the roads, because you won't be able to connect it anywhere else. Uh, single lines might be okay, and I'm not really sure how they interact with the traffic. I haven't tested that part yet, but um, I, I assume that it's not gonna be easy. Uh, now you can build as many as you want on top of each other, and uh, I can't assume this working properly. I think it's gonna crash the game sooner or later, but you can build this. Uh, at the moment, we have a train, uh, sorry, tram running on those roads. It works perfectly fine. It treats this as a, as a station. I had to demolish this road here so it recognize, so we can connect it to a additional station. It's connected all the way to the other side to our industrial area here that's connected to our heating plant and our uh, power plant, so it has some point, it has somewhere to be, like people can go somewhere. Uh, that's one thing. So crashing could be an issue. Bear in mind, even though this building is uh, getting electricity, let me show you over here. So uh, this building is getting electricity and it doesn't show like it, the, there's an, any issue with the, the lines. It still has to have connection to this because the rest of the railroad doesn't work without your electrical connection. So if you connect several of these stations, you will have some issues. So, for example, here is another station we have, but it's not operational because, and I didn't choose it as a stop. So, people, if if this was close to the buildings, this this can be populated. Now, you can turn off 
people there and then they will not go to this station and you will still be able to use this as a you can still you will still be able to use this as a proper station so th this would be one of the solutions how you can use it one station on one side you build these long invisible stations on the on the on, on the road system and then in the end they are connected to to the well actually two stations but bear in mind you have to have a free space at the end of the road so you can connect it to the rest of the road system and you cannot really connect to uh, two stations next to each other or to each other as far as I know let me try one more time we can try it here in the mods and we're gonna go with the shortest one here and as you can see here they don't seem to click at least railroads don't seem to click to each other so technically you will you you are able to build these and then connect them to each other Right, anyway, uh, my, uh, my understanding of this is still not perfect. I still need to understand this a little bit better and do a little bit more testing, but this could be revolutionary. Potential of this mod is, I don't want to say unlimited, but it's, it's huge. So if you play around with these stations and shape it as you wish, uh, I think you're going to build a really, really nice uh, public transport system in the city that goes over the road system. Another negative thing, and I really don't want to finish on a negative note, but um, um, this is more game related than actually mod related. You can't really properly align it on the road. Uh, technically, you should build this system first and then build your road system because it doesn't properly connect uh, it doesn't go parallel to the road for example if you use this one road or this road for example you can't really make it perfectly straight on this road it always clicks a little bit left or right well if you build a road last first this and then road it should work perfectly fine but anyway uh, this is going to be tricky crashed my game several times and uh, I still kind of made it work ish so there you go uh, this is revolutionary this is amazing this is perfect this is really really good and Novo is playing with the uh, physics of this game which is uh, really nice to see hopefully that's gonna bring us a lot of nice mods anyway that's it what do you think what do I think I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for civil buildings I'm gonna go for civil buildings because they are they have such a nice mosaic of uh, things it's it's really traditional well traditional in Soviet style so I, I really love those and uh, it, because it's a really really nice set I think I'm gonna be using them well, I think I'm gonna be using all of these mods so they're really really good anyway civil buildings for me what do you think comment I'm expecting comments, like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, happy Monday, see you in the next one, bye bye.